Today I will explain you the poem The Ant and the Cricket. Okay, so this a poem is actually a fable. Okay, a fable means it's a story, okay, often with animals as characters that conveys a moral. Okay, so let's see what moral is there in this particular poem. Okay, so a silly young cricket accustomed to sing through the warm sunny months of gay summer and spring began to complain when he found that at home his cupboard was empty and winter was come. Okay, not a crumb to be found on the snow-covered ground. Not a flower could he see, not a leaf on a tree. Oh, what will become, says the cricket of me. Okay, now there was a cricket, okay, an insect similar to a grasshopper, but it's not a grasshopper, okay, which was young and not so wise. He had the habit of singing during happy times and during summer, like spring and summer seasons, the warm sunny weather allowed less green vegetation and all living beings got adequate food and water. Okay. But in contrast, during the winter months, the whole place was covered with snow. There were no plants, leaves or flowers inside. Okay. Therefore, animals found it hard to find food at such times. The cricket, which enjoyed during the active warm months, felt a store for the future. He opened the cupboard and found it empty. There was not a small piece of food to be found because he had not served any food. Okay, so winter had started and now only the cricket realized that he had not stored food. He wondered what will happen to him because he did not have any food. Okay, now at last by starvation and famine made bold, all dripping with weight and all trembling with cold, away he set off to a miserly ant to see if to keep him alive he would grant. Okay, him shelter from rain and a mouthful of grain he wished only to borrow he would repair it tomorrow if not he must die of starvation and sorrow okay so now the cricket had not saved any food for the future and he wondered what will happen to him if he did not have food okay so he would have to starve without food right he, he will starve he will die without food right if he did not do anything now so he was soaked weight and shaking okay because of the extreme cold weather and he gathered courage from the fear of being without food and so he started his journey to visit the ant and ask his help okay the kick the cricket just wanted to borrow from the ant and repay it in the future okay so in this particular line okay he would repay it tomorrow tomorrow refers to the future okay not the next day okay and what did the cricket wanted the cricket needed a staying place for the winter and he wanted a mouthful of grain okay the quantity of grain that is sufficient for insects like cricket okay and if the ant does not give him food and shelter, the cricket will die of lack of food and disappointment, right? The poet refers to the ant as miserly here, okay? Actually, miser refers to the people who save a lot and spend very little, okay? And it can be given a positive meaning in this particular poem, okay? Because here, uh, like in this poem, by saying miser, we can praise the ant's quality of thinking about the future and preserving food for the cold days. Okay, so now says the ant to the cricket, I am your servant and your friend, but we ants never borrow, we ants never lend. But tell me, dear cricket, did you lay nothing by when the winter, when the weather was warm? quote the cricket not i okay so now the cricket went to the ant and asked for help okay the ant said the ant said he was the cricket servant and friend but the ant also said that ants don't borrow or lend anything okay the ant further asked the cricket what he had been doing when the weather was warm enough for him to work hard and save food okay so the cricket replied that he was very happy okay when nature looked good and bright okay and he added that he sang all day okay he sang all day and night out of happiness okay so the ant replied 
sarcastically that if he had been singing okay during the summer now he can go and dance till the winter ends okay so here like this particular line refers to this explanation okay like my heart was so light that i sang day and night okay for all nature look gray you sang sir you say go then says the ant and dance the winter away okay thus ending he hastily lifted the wicket and out of the door turned the poor little cricket folks call this a fable i will warrant it true some crickets have four legs and some have two okay so now here the poet refers to the mockery made by the ant okay the ant mocked the cricket because the ant was the because the ant had worked hard during the summer months right to relax and have food during winter whereas the cricket had sung songs all day during summer and now came to the ant for help okay so this also refers to the poet mocking lazy people okay like we should always think about our future and save according to our needs right so when we have money we should not spend everything right we should save for the hard days and listen like if we have a valid reason for not saving for the futures like other may so others may so pity on us and help us out of a difficult situation okay but if we enjoy happily instead of working hard nobody will come forward to help us you know the summer and winter uh, like uh, here okay in this particular poem there is summer and after that there is winter okay so summer and winter here refers to our young age and old age okay like if we work hard during our young years and save wisely we can live happily during the old age without asking help from anyone okay so what happened so the ant refused to help the cricket okay he quickly closed the small opening in the door okay which is known as wicket okay and shut the cricket out of his house okay and the poor cricket had no other choice but to leave the place right if anybody shuts the uh, like door in front of a face will you stay there no you will definitely leave that place right so the cricket also left from there okay so you know the poet says people think of this story as a fable okay an imaginary story but he feels it could have even really happened okay actually the moral of the story is very true that it can happen actually in real life too because he refers to the cricket in the poem as a four legged cricket okay and humans as two legged crickets okay if we are silly enough like the cricket we will also end up starved and disappointed right so we should always think ahead and save for the future okay